All right, so I'm gonna make some butter. Uh, right here, I went into a farm and I bought this. Uh, I bought this raw milk that wasn't homogenized. So <clears throat> I let it sit in the fridge, covered, while the cream separated from the milk for like a week. I don't know if this is the best way to do this, and I probably wouldn't do it like this again. I watched like a couple random videos on YouTube on how to make butter. And I, I thought I'd make like my own little video. But um, this whole process of skimming this uh, milk is whack. So I'll probably just next time, I'll probably just go buy heavy cream. You heard? Anyways, <clears throat> long story short. Get the milk separated from the cream. Get the cream in your mixing bowl. Preferentially, everything should be really cold. The milk wasn't cold because I, I let it out at room temperature, so it probably didn't whip up as good. And the bowl wasn't that cold because I didn't have room in my freezer. Whatever. Doesn't matter. Still worked. So, you can see here, you got to whip this cream up for a little while. And at this point, it's going to make like... Uh, before it becomes butter, it's going to become whipped cream, right? So I'm just going to let it whip for a little while. I think it whipped for about uh, two or three minutes. And then I'm going to slow it down here. You can see it's starting to look kind of like butter a little bit more. At that point, uh, I think I speed the video up again now. You just got you, you to just let it keep whipping. Just Even after it starts looking... Yeah, there you go. Look how fast it's going. Yeah. Even after, even after it looks like butter, you keep letting go. Just let it whip. Whip, 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 whip. Whip it good. Whip it like Devo. You see like it's got water in it now? It's not water. That's the buttermilk separating from the butter. Right? So, at this point, it's only still going because I was sitting in the living room ignoring it. Uh, so, pretty soon, I'm going to come back here and I'm going to shut this thing off. How long is that going to take? I don't know. I mean, I sped the video up. Oh, there you go. Now it's really looking like water, right? So, everything's pretty much completely separated there. Go ahead and stop it. You can see here on the whisk that, like, all the butter is just clumped up around the whisk. And the, the buttermilk is separate, right? So, pull the whisk off. Get the butter. And uh, I watched uh, some chef guy make butter, so I'm just following his instructions because uh, that's the video I watched the most. Put it in a strainer, use cold water, rinse all the buttermilk off it, drop it in a bowl. At this point, I'm going to add some salt. Just a heads up, you see how much salt I added? Too much salt. It tastes saltier than Come on! The reason you add, add the salt is because uh, it helps preserve it. Right, like if you, I don't know if you ever like, uh, if you buy regular salted butter from the grocery store, you can leave it in the refrigerator for a while and it'd be fine. But if you buy unsalted butter, you gotta throw it in a freezer. Otherwise, it like it, it starts losing its uh, its consistency. So, anyways, mix it up with the salt. Don't use as much salt as I did because it's like super salty. Uh, it was, actually, it came out making great using it for popcorn, believe it or not. But, uh, you know, and then just mix it up. Fold it into, like, whatever kind of uh, phallic, turd-shaped item or whatever. I tried to make a stick, but uh, couldn't really do it. So I ended up with, the, like, this a Snickers bar floating in the pool and Caddyshack looking thing. Snickers bar, Baby Ruth, same difference. Whatever. Mix it up. Shape it, throw it on your parchment paper. At this point, I tasted it. It actually was pretty good. Even though it was a little too salty, it was good. The butter came out pretty good. So, I'm happy with that. But, uh, wrap it up in the parchment paper. And throw it in the refrigerator. And you're done, man. Totally done. That's it. Easy. Hey, thanks for sticking around. I appreciate you, brothers and sisters. Uh, do me a solid if you could. Uh, comment on the video below. Uh, give a like. Give a subscribe. Ring the Fire bell for the notifications. 
uh, check out the other videos, whenever they pop up. And uh, finally, don't be a goddamn communist. Thanks.